Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives. This video is going to be about the Victorinox Ranger. Yes, in this case, that is the Ranger. Now this case is uh, just an old Boker knife case. One of the many Kalishnikov folders came with this case. And the size of it just happens to perfectly fit what I need. Alright, but first... I recognize several types of categories of Swiss Army knife. There are the keychain sized models. There are the pocket carry sized models. In this video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite categories, the pouch carry models, which is just one that's heavy and thick enough that it makes the most sense to carry it on a belt pouch. The first set of features is what I call the foundation set because it goes back to the World War II GI, a Swiss type knives. You've got the cap lifter with wire stripper and a flat head. You've got the uh, can opener also with a flat head that works on some Phillips. You have the flat ground plain edge blade and you have a reamer and the next set of tools that I want to draw your attention to is what I call the big three. On most Swiss Army knives you have to choose between one or two of these. Uh, but this model has all three, that's one of the reasons I like it. The metal file, the wood saw, and the scissors. And the remaining tools, the smaller sized blade right there, and the tools on the back, there is the reamer which we have already covered. Um, here you have the corkscrew. There's also an, a, a space here for a pin, but this did not come with a pin, but you can put one there. It also did not come with the micro screwdriver. I had to purchase that separately. Alright, so corkscrew and micro screwdriver. Okay, now this is the chisel. This chisel. See here, it's another flathead screwdriver and the parcel carrying hook there. It also has a toothpick there and tweezers there. All right, and those are all the tools on the Ranger. Now you might think, oh, that's kind of a chunky Swiss Army knife. Uh, well, I think it's appropriate for pouch carry and if you compare it to this, the Swiss Champ, you can see it is still significantly uh, less wide and I think you know I think this has about 90 to 95 percent of the usefulness of this much bigger Swiss Army knife and now what do I carry in the pouch with my Ranger I have a small it's basically a two inch long uh, little flashlight this is an older Leatherman type they don't I don't think they make these anymore but any two inch light will do. And I keep just a few band-aids, not an entire first aid kit or anything, I'm not trying to do that, but a few band-aids, a useful little box cutter, and what else? Hold on. There we go. A uh, Victorinox pen, just because this does not come with a pen or a slot for a pen. Uh, this is a small lighter, County Com lighter. Uh, and this is a, a Cybertech tool. It's just uh, some pliers, right? Mini pliers because this does not come with pliers. And a proper 3D Phillips because like I said this has a, a flat Phillips but this is a proper 3D Phillips. So I just find that this little tool is a good complement. Now I know there are even larger models of Swiss Army Knife that contain pliers in them. I realize that but to put in the pliers th this would have to be even wider and rather than making this like just that wide I'd rather just carry this little this little thingy because it's very compact because the wider you make uh, the Swiss Army knife, you know, the more unwieldy it is. So yeah, that's a compromise. Now basically, if I'm going to carry a pouch on my belt, 
I am always going to have at least some type of fire making device and at least some type of light. All right, that's just that's just basic. That's one of the benefits of carrying a pouch. It's just easy enough to get a pouch that's slightly wider and include those things uh, within it. Now, what would I change or add to this to make it just perfect? It's already pretty perfect, but if I'm going to have a secondary blade, I would. It would be really cool if they would put the small blade from the uh, Victorinox Electrician on this so that it could be more of a draw cutting type of blade. Uh, but they don't. So, you know, this is my draw cutter for now. I do wish that they would just go ahead and include a slot for a pen. I don't think that would be too difficult. Right? A nice. Uh, because why the hell not? I do think it should come with this micro screwdriver rather than have to buy it separately. I mean, <laughs> you know, half the benefit of the corkscrew is that it can efficiently hold the micro screwdriver. So even if you don't uh, use the corkscrew, it's still efficient to have that. All right. Um, it does not have a proper uh, 3D Phillips. And... Uh, if they could maybe re somehow replace the hook with a 3D Phillips, that'd be pretty cool. And of course it should come with that, it should come with a pin to go there. I don't know why it doesn't. I would change the, uh, the beloved toothpick, I would change it to like more like a, like a little titanium probe that you could probably still use as a toothpick, but just like a little um, a little probe for some fine work. I think that'd be cool. And of course, I think these should all come with a pouch with the Victorinox sharpening steel on the pouch because I think this is big enough that realistically you're gonna wanna carry it in a pouch and I don't wanna have to buy a separate pouch. All right, I'll repack now. My final conclusion on the Ranger, for those who are considering purchasing the Ranger, I would definitely recommend it. I think the tool selection, the tool set they've given you is very efficient. I think once you start getting larger than the Ranger, I think that's when tools that are not quite that useful start being added. And I think uh, the efficiency reaches a point of diminishing returns. So yeah, as far as uh, the tool set, I think it's a good... Um, a good compromise. I would definitely purchase the Ranger, you know, before purchasing a Swiss Champ, even though these are pretty darn cool. I mean, I would have this just for collectability because it's it's cool if you like gadgets. But before purchasing some of the bigger stuff, I would I would get the Ranger. You know, that's that's my recommendation. All right, this has been We All Juggle Knives. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm out.